Okay, once you download the week 12 files, I'll go ahead and open the folder up. Inside the video files folder, what I have is a video file. Expand this a little bit. Now this video file was taken from the Herndon Festival. It's a music uh, video. And what I've already done is I went to one of those video converters and I already converted the video to a .ogg file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this folder and I'm actually just going to have the folder name video or maybe media. Maybe I'll change it to media. Oop, I don't want all caps. I'm going to take that folder and I'm going to drop it in my name folder. So I'm going to open up my USB, Art116, my name folder, and I'm going to drop this one in here. Okay. By the way, these files are quite big. All right. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to go to Dreamweaver. Okay. All right, I'm going to put the video right here. And I see because of uh, some returns I made, I got a paragraph tag in here. And instead of the paragraph tag, I'm going to put the HTML5 video tag in here. So I'm gonna hit the delete key. And then I'm going to go insert HTML. And I'm gonna choose HTML5 video. Okay, when you do that, your property palette changes. And as you can see, there are a lot of different formatting options you have for that. So what you have here is your main source. The most common video file format is the MP4. So I'm gonna use the folder icon to navigate to my MP4 file. Okay, I'm gonna find my USB. Art116, my name folder, my media folder, and I'm going to select my MP4, put it in here. Next, what I have is the poster file, and I'll talk about that next. Instead, what I have here as well is Dreamweaver automatically picked up that alternative file, even though I didn't select it. Dreamweaver was smart enough to pick up the alternative and it gives you a room down here for another alternative if you need it. Now I have to decide what I want the video file to be the, as far as width and height. And if I go back to here, I've got that video aspect ratio converter, but I want to see what size that video file is. So I'm going to minimize Dreamweaver and I'm going to go straight into my USB again, my name folder, and I'm going to take a look at that file. Okay. It's telling me this file is, I'm going to go ahead and write that down, is 480, and I'm looking right here by 318, and I want to change that. So I'm going to come over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, again, 400, 400 by 225, okay? So I'm going back to Dreamweaver, and down here I'm going to put those dimensions in here. I'm going to put 400 by 2. Two, five. Okay, after I've entered the width and height and I've got the media source and the alternative source, I can also put an image for kind of the poster of a video instead of just a frame of the video, I could create a unique poster image. Uh, I think we'll come back and do that later. You can have controls on your video, you can make your video loop, which isn't a good option. You don't really don't want it to continue to loop. You could have it be muted and then folks would have to unmute it and you could have it just automatically play as the browser opens. 
not a good option either because you don't want to take over somebody's uh, speakers on their computer but you can see you do have those options you could give your video a title and and other fallback text in case uh, the title is an issue and then you could do a flash video for another fallback but right now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and preview one of the browsers it's asking me to save and if I come down here, I probably want a little bit more space here, but I could change that later. When my heart dropped with a wet thumb. Okay. Now, notice that I just see a frame of the video. If I don't want that and want to make something custom, I go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to select under poster. I'm going to click on my folder icon. And I did give you an example of this. It's just a JPEG super simple I'm going to open that up I'm going to go ahead and preview again so you can see the difference and now I just have a picture instead of a video frame I do recommend that you explore some of these other options here uh, such as autoplay loop and see how that controls your video also, I want to remind you, you need to make sure that op all these video files, that video or that media folder is uploaded to your uh, web server. All right.